Let's start out with a question. How many wheels are on a bicycle? I really hope your answer is two. There are indeed two wheels on a bicycle. The answer is two today. The same was true over 100 years ago. The answer is true across the globe and even on Mars. There's only one answer to how many wheels are on a bicycle, and there's no uncertainty in that answer. But that's a pretty boring question to ask. In real life, we're often interested in more exciting and complex questions. Like, what's the probability that Kevin Durant will score more than 35 points in a particular game, as he doesn't score the same amount in every game he plays? Or what will I spend on my utility bills this summer, as my bill isn't the same every month? Or as engineers, we might want to know, what's the probability that a particular concrete formulation fails under a given stress? Or does factory layout A reduce production time relative to layout B? The answer to these questions involve uncertainty, and a course in statistics gives us the tools to more effectively address these questions. Broadly, the field of statistics consists of two major topics, probability, or the study of the likelihood of different uncertain events, and inferential statistics, or the study of how we draw conclusions about the larger population based on a much smaller sample. We'll address a little of the theory that underpins probability and inferential statistics, but we'll primarily focus on understanding and applying basic tools to study uncertain situations in a variety of engineering contexts. An ability to analyze data describing processes and systems is important to their design and improvement. And taking a statistics course is a great first step in being able to make informed decisions as an engineer. My name's Cash Barker, and I'm a faculty member in the School of Industrial and Systems Engineering at the University of Oklahoma. I invite you to join me in this introductory statistics course and explore tools that are vital for tomorrow's engineers.